Hello, my friends. I hope you are doing well. In this video, I want to talk to you about something that has changed my planner life for the better. Today, I want to talk to you about using your planner and combining it with journaling. If you're new here, hello. My name is Tanya and I make videos on functional and practical planning. I hope that you'll find this information useful and hit the like and subscribe button. Please take a moment and leave a comment. Let me know if you journal and use a planner. So using a planner and a journal is normally considered two separate things because using a planner typically means a different thing from journaling. And as you can see, I pre-filled in what I plan to do on each particular day. Now, what I'm about to talk to you about is not my idea. I actually got this idea from Jenny Penton. She doesn't know who I am. She doesn't know I watch her videos. <laughs> But I wanted to bring it to my audience because I thought it was such a profound thing to talk about. And a lot of people don't talk about it in the planner community, in my opinion. And that is combining journaling with planning. They're kind of closely related, but at the same time, they're two different things. I would consider this planning. When you're using your planner format and you're trying to plan out what you're going to do each day and so that you don't miss appointments and so that you can plan in advance and be on time for things and a lot enough time for what's coming up. But one important thing that I have discovered that has made a huge difference in my productivity is combining journaling with planning. And how that works is writing out how you want your day to go. So in my planner pages pack, I offer this horizontal format. So here's what's powerful and how to do it. You actually take a moment before your day begins or the night before, because what it does is it makes you visualize how you want to feel. So you're speaking things things into existence that has not happened yet. And it's a really powerful concept and it helps your mind and your body to follow. So I have been trying this method. So for example, lately here, I've been dealing with pain. As I've gotten older, I've been having pain in my foot and it comes and goes. And a lot of people, unfortunately, live with pain. So it might start with this. I woke up at 6 a.m. I felt well rested and refreshed. I was pain free. I got up and I fixed breakfast. I spoke to to my daughter before she left for school and I logged in to work on time. I was very productive at work as I was able to finish half of the project I was working on. And I took a walk on my lunch break with my dog. My meeting with my director went well. I was able to speak enthusiastically and knowledgeable about the project. I logged off work on time. By seven o'clock, dinner was finished and I was able to get in bed by 9 p.m. Now, that's an example of what I would write on a journal entry for the day. Now, I think when you do this, it's important to write in a horizontal format. When I first tried the method of journaling with planning, I was trying to write out my day in a vertical format. I was trying to say, oh, at eight o'clock, I'm going to do this. At nine o'clock, I'm going to do that. And while time blocking is important and very productive, I found that this visionary method of journaling before I started my day changed things. So much more accomplished just writing out how I would like my day to go. So when I do write out how I want my day to go, I am careful to not rewrite what I already have back here on my planner pages. Even though I touch on some of the things on my planner pages, that's not the point because here's the opportunity to more than less visualize about how you want your day to go. Just try it for a week and say, okay, you know what? I'm going to try what Tanya said. <laughs> I'm just going to sit down and I'm going to write out how how I want to feel, how my mental state is, how I want to approach today. You don't have to write a lot. Sometimes you don't have time to write a lot in your planner, but when you can, these horizontal pages are undated, so you can fill in these entries at any time. It's been such a life changer for me that I wanted to share this with you. So that is today's quick tip talking about the power of planning and journaling together. I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to like this video. This is Tanya helping you feel more organized so this can be your best year yet.